vlog you're gonna learn three things three ideas on how you can increase watch time on your channel all right that's what you're gonna learn by the end of this video but the only reason I feel comfortable sharing these ideas with you is because I've been doing 900 vlogs in a row and I've learned a thing or two over the last two and a half years and I want to share that experience and motivation and just knowledge with you so stay tuned three things coming up now Oh, that fire felt good. Okay, as you can see, this is real life. This is raw. This is not shot in a studio. Uh, a lot of small creators, I feel like, I hear it quite often, like they don't feel like they have the right setting to, to film in. And folks, you don't need a studio. You don't need a production crew. It's just you and me. I don't even have a tripod today. It's just the Canon 5D and my thoughts, my experience, my knowledge being shared with you through YouTube. Just, want, just wanted to mention it. I just love filming in urban environments. I just love it. There's so much to look at. It's so cool. All right, folks, tip number one, here you go. It's an easy one. It's easy to say, harder to do. Film, edit, and publish longer videos, right? To increase watch time on your channel, that's probably the simplest way to do it. However, it's a double-edged sword because on YouTube, not only is YouTube tracking total watch time on your videos and on your channel as a whole, they're also tracking retention rates. So how long are people watching each individual video? Basically, if you're publishing a 10-minute video, a 12-minute video, but people are only watching it for two minutes, that's not good. YouTube does not like that. So let's dive into an example on my channel. This is a video I shot up in Steamboat Springs one month ago called Run Rabbit Run 100 Mile Race. Let's see how long people actually tuned in and watched this vlog. Mile 25 when I almost blacked out at 25, a couple people stopped me. So there you go. That was a real life example on this YouTube channel and you can do the same on your channel. Click on any video on your YouTube channel, look at the analytics and see how long people are actually watching. All right, that was tip number one. Make longer videos, produce longer videos, but make sure you're keeping people's attention throughout. going to ask the question of the day right now because I'm so curious. Oh, let's let, let's let the bus go by. So I'm so curious. <laughs> Have you noticed the longer videos on this channel over the past week? And what did you think? Like, what do you think? This is a big step for this daily vlog is to publish 10 minute plus videos. And I know like your time is so precious, so valuable, and you stick around for so long, many of you, the whole, the whole time, which is amazing, thank you. But what do you think about the longer form videos on this channel? That's the question of the day, thank you. The snow started again, the snow started again. All right, one last point on the topic of publishing longer videos for YouTube. It means you're gonna have to work just a little bit harder because guess what? Filming and editing. Hi, how's it going? Thanks for the video bomb. So, she was nice. Basically, you gotta work harder, right? This is life. Okay, I know not everyone wants to hear that you gotta work harder on YouTube, but it's so true. And at least in the upfront, in the laying the foundation of your channel, you gotta work harder and be willing to do it. All right, let's go. We're back at the yellow wall. We're back at the yellow wall. Okay, you wanna see a little bit more of my story? Seven years ago, we took these photos right here. 
That's right, those are some wedding photos from True Love and I's wedding. Okay, tip number two for increasing watch time on your YouTube channel. Have a story in mind before you hit record. Everyone, human beings, were made for great stories. Think of Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings, Frodo in the Shire, that's the beginning. What is the middle? Walking through Middle Earth. That's the middle, the chunk, the, the meat of the story. And what is the end? Him throwing the ring into Mount Doom. A beginning, a middle, and an end. That is the, those are the three key ingredients for any great story. So, in today's vlog, what was the beginning of this story? Me showing you my house, me showing you my car. And listen, these are small details, well, and big details of life, but a lot of you have never been on this channel, and so I wanna share my life with you, my story with you. Remember, this is raw, this is real here. And what's the middle? The middle are the three points that I'm sharing with you right now. I just shared number two with you, the stories, and number three, the last part of today's story, today's vlog, is going to be me showing, revealing to you some of my YouTube analytics from the past month, basically, the last, especially the last two weeks, to show you how the watch time on this channel is going up, is going up. And I just wanna, it's just amazing. And so, okay, tip number three coming up. There's a big blue bear in downtown Denver. Just thought you'd like to know that. It's cold. All right, third and final idea and tip for helping you increase watch time on your channel. Basically, don't be afraid to withhold some of the goodness for the last part of your video. I just mentioned 30 seconds ago that I'm gonna to reveal to you some of my YouTube analytics to show you like ha what's happening on this channel. That's kind of a big deal. Like a lot of creators, I've never seen them really share their analytics. And I'm not gonna share everything with you, but some of it with you, because I, I wanna be transparent with you and literally show you how watch time is going up on this channel. It's exciting. So stay tuned, and that is my hint. And so you can use this strategy as well, like drop hints throughout your video saying that there's gonna be goodness coming but it's a double-edged sword because you got to pull through you can't forget to say it and you got to make sure it's worth the people's time that they stick around for that and you got to make sure it connects to the whole overall story for the daily vlog the daily story whatever you happen to be filming maybe it's a how-to video maybe it's a cooking video maybe it's a shopping haul video it can be applied to frankly any video capiche all right time to go get warm I'm getting hungry, I'm getting hungry. All right, hopefully the information that I've shared with you today gives you something to chew on. Something like pizza, something to feed your YouTube engine. Now listen, don't go out and implement all three right now. It takes time, it takes patience for anything on YouTube. And if you learned something, if I helped you in some small way, make sure you hit that subscribe button because next week, yes, I'm gonna be publishing another video on improving engagement on your YouTube channel. Does that sound good? Does that sound good? All right, people are yelling at me and that's okay. I gotta get home. Oh, and I gotta get to internet so I can show you my YouTube analytics. Stay tuned. It was delicious. It was delicious. Thank you for Taco Wednesdays, true love. And I'm glad you got to see a little bit of Michael trying food for the second time in his life. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. All right, that is part of my story, right? We're talking about stories a little bit today. I'm looking at my YouTube stats. Here is the end of the story, all right? Remember, I promised YouTube analytics. I'm looking at the, sc the same screen you are, and it's Fascinating, right? The watch time is going up and I'm putting into practice some of the tips and ideas that I have shared with you over the last 10 minutes. So, as you can see, pretty level watch time, pretty level watch time, and then boom, October 2nd hits. And what was the video that I published on October 2nd? Best YouTube analytic to improve in 2019. So, preparing for next year, look at that. That is, if I'm doing the math right, basically a little over a week ago, 
and look at the graph, folks. Bottom line, I'm not messing around. I'm trying to be transparent, open with you, and I hope, I hope, helpful. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm, I want to help you guys, especially the other creators that are just kind of, eh, 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 struggling a little bit. Like they're just trying to get over that hump. Think about the three points that I've mentioned today. Go back and review if you need to. And again, if you want to, if you want to take the next step, go check out the playlist that I already mentioned, upper right hand corner. That playlist has, it doesn't have a ton of content yet, but I'm working on it and it will help you formulate ideas and understand where YouTube is headed in the future, meaning 2019, because it's right around the corner. I love you guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks for looking at my YouTube analytics. And if you're still watching, drop, and I know it's a hard word to spell, drop analytics down in the comment. If you can spell it correctly, bonus points for you. See beauty, work hard, and love each other. Why don't you, why don't you subscribe to? Why don't you subscribe to? And if you have time, maybe take the link, copy it, paste it, share it with some friends, share it with your social media contacts, and just be like, hey, check this guy out. He's trying to help others on YouTube. Maybe you could learn something. I'd appreciate it. I'd appreciate it. All right, now I'm signing off.